Welcome back, guys. I have just spent about an hour or so just going around and looking at stuff and uh, reconfiguring my trade routes a little bit. To, uh, I, 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 man, there is so much to do. People that say, I, I've been looking at the reviews on Steam. The reviews on Steam are ridiculous. I'm, al I'm almost tempted to do a dedicated video having a rant about the, uh, the reviews of this game on Steam because it's ridiculous. You know, people are saying, oh, people are saying such crazy things contradicting each other most of the reviews are are biased and unfair um and some of them are just plain uninformed and wrong you know it's like they'll say oh you know the game the game's too easy well put it on the difficult settings then right they're like oh the automated trading system makes it too easy well turn it off then you can turn it off you boneheads anyway moving on let's get positive um the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to get this uh, this bunch of commodities over here, which we can buy for 40000 Problem is, we haven't got enough money at the moment. Now, we might get enough money by the time we get there, but what I'm going to do over here, I've put orders in for um, for a couple, well, for three uh, flouts. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel one of those. I get the money back, all the money back for it. So that gives me some, uh, gives me some cash. I'm going to try and keep a bit more cash in my pockets. I'm going to try and stay above 100,000 wherever I can. Right, what else? What else? What else? Um, okay, so what have I done with the trade routes? Okay, the first thing is, on all the trade routes, I've gone through every trade route. First of all, I've gone through every trade route and reset them so they pick up any new businesses that are around. The next thing I've done is um, in Port Royal, I've changed the, the selling instructions on tobacco, coffee, and cocoa to automatic rather than whatever. Um, I've kept the priorities up there and we'll kind of see what happens. I want to see whether we're selling enough just like that. I've also changed um, a couple of the trade routes so that they go from Santiago to Port Royal and then back to Santiago and then onward. And the reason for that is if we're picking tobacco up here, selling it in Port Royal and then going on, we're missing the opportunity to pick up the tobacco again and, and ship it out. So that's the reason for that change. Now, as well as that, um, I have set up a new domestic route which is the domestic building route this is worth taking a look at so i've set up a i've set up a route going around this is one that doesn't go back to santiago because what we're trying to do here is distribute building materials okay so what i've done is i've gone through and we're just talking about wood bricks rope and metalware okay so all i've done is said it that if you're if you're producing one of those goods we buy it if you're not we sell and it's just like that. So, for example, um, uh, Barracoa, I think, produces metalware, does it? Yes, it does. So, we're buying metalware there, but we still sell everything else. So, the idea is just to distribute those, those building goods. And those building goods are used for building buildings and also building ships, which is going to be uh, more and more important as we, go, as we go through. Having said that, uh, we, need to, uh, we need to get some ships on there. So what I'm gonna do is uh, we'll go to the domestic route. I'm gonna take a couple of these ships off, I think. So, let me see, we've got the Soleil Royal up at the Turks Islands. Um, okay, let's take that one. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into, this is the Soleil Royal, where's, okay. Where, where are you? You know what, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take this one instead. Gonna take the blueberry. Let's head it to Puerto Padre. Um, go into uh, go into Turks Island. Now I, I need to go and pick this stuff up as well. So I've got so so, much, so many things that I need to do. Um, you are going to go up here, and and pick this stuff up. That would be good. What else do I need to do? Oh right, okay, down here. There's a couple of things that we can do down here. There's a couple of tasks that we can fill. Uh, Martinique needs 70 rum. And Port of Spain needs 85 meat. So I'm going to accept both of those. 70 rum, 85 meat. Okay. Then I'm going to go up to Santiago. Uh, the Thunder. Okay, are you in port? Yes, you are in port. Hooray. Yeah, we need to make a bit of room. 
So I tell you what, let's um, let's just dump the sugar. And we'll dump the metal as well. Um, maybe dump the coal as well. There we go. Right, it's made enough room. Our rum. So we need 70 rum, don't we? Yes, we do. So let's grab 70 rum. And we needed meat, didn't we? 135 meat, I think it was. 135. Uh, oh, we've got 124. Okay. You know, I might let that sit there because we're producing meat. So, yeah. Uh, let's turn this up to speed. Okay, so you've gone into Turks Islands, Blueberry. What we're going to do... Oh, it's being repaired. It's kind of annoying. We are no longer at war with Spain. Let's turn, let's turn the route off. Oh, the, the route is off. Good. But why are you being repaired then? Right, so you're going to get up there. You, let's see, have we produced any more in Port Royal? Let's have a look. Uh, not Port Royal, in uh, Santiago. Uh, which one were we doing? The th it was the Thunder, wasn't it? Uh, I hope it was the Thunder. Let's have a look. <laughs> the th uh, yeah, we've got the 70 rum, and we're trying to get the meat. Uh, yes. So we need how much more? 124, so we need another 11, please. 11 there we go cool let's just double check those numbers so it was 70 and 135 oh it's 85 that's fine right so i didn't even have to wait okay thunder head straight down to martinique oh the convoy is being repaired i i wish like okay it's being repaired but i wish you could still give it instructions because man all right so you arrive there oh you're not quite close enough Come on. Oh, yeah, you are. Hooray. So we can buy all of his commodities for 40,000, and we've got plenty of room, so boom. Ho, ho, ho. Look at that. B-E-A. Beautiful. We will put you back on your normal trade route, which is the, the local domestic English route. Now, I have changed um, the English route quite, quite substantially. The... And I've actually changed the, um, the English... Uh, local domestic route as well. So the English route now, I've, it used to be a line going down here and then back. I I've taken Georgetown out uh, and just changed it into a, to a circle, which I think will make it a little bit more effective. Currently, like th we've got one convoy on there. It's doing like 138, which is kind of rubbish. So, yeah. And it, it goes through Port Royal and Santiago, which um, is potentially bringing stuff in to our two most important ports, which is a good thing. Uh, so that is that. Now the the local domestic English route I have changed, and I've changed it so that we're picking up all of all of this island here. And the reason I wanted I wanted to change I wanted to pick up Santo Domingo because they're producing um, luxury items. Port of Prince is producing furniture, which is not a bad thing. So we're going to those ports and then coming into like Santiago and Port Royal. Now because they're our two biggest towns. Uh, especially Santiago. Santiago is going to be demanding. Um, oh, I didn't want to do that. Didn't want to click on that. Uh, you know what? Reset. Confirm. Uh, Santiago. Santiago is going to be demanding more of the luxury items. The consumption is going to be higher. Uh, and you can see we've got very little, and that's going to upset them if they don't have those items. So, so we'll uh, we'll get a bit more of that coming in, which is good. What I need to do now is get these um, guys switched over onto the routes that we want them on. So the Blueberry, the Blueberry is now at anchor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dump the current cargo at everything except uh, wood, bricks, rope, and metal goods. Uh, so wood, we can get rid of that. Uh, we can get rid of the sugar. We can get rid of the beer. Uh, let's see, bricks will keep, rope will keep, meat get rid of, coal goes, and the cotton, and cloth, and tobacco, and coffee, and cocoa. We keep the metal goods, we ditch that, and the pastries. Alright, cool. So, we are set up. 
So you, uh, we are going to remove you from the domestic route, and you are going to go onto the domestic building route. Assign route. Cha-ching. Good. We want another couple of ships on that route. So, let's see. Who's, uh, are you... The Dondervok, are you in port? Okay, get get back into port. There we go. And we'll do the same with you. So, get rid of grain, fruit. Boom, boom, boom. And the beer. Uh, bricks. Yeah, I haven't got any of that. Metal goes. Coal goes. Cloth goes. Okay, keep metal goods and the luxuries go as well. And then we switch you, get rid of that, and put you onto the domestic building route. Hooray! Not as much rejoicing. Uh, I'd like one more, preferably. I don't know, maybe. Maybe, well, let's say the formidable. Now, the formidable's got plenty of room, it's a three ship. Yeah, go on. We'll do it. We'll do it. Uh, to be honest, it's a bit big. Like a two-ship cargo, I'd kind of be okay with, but... I might just do it. I might just do it. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Like, what the hell? So, go to... Um, go to Havana. Now, uh, I need to get the other things going as well. So, um, where are you going? Oh, you're, yeah, you're on the Tortuga. Right, that's that's fine. What about the ship that's going down to uh, Martinique? Where are you? I can't even remember which ship it was. <laughs> uh, who was going to Martinique? Do you remember which ship? It was the Thunder, wasn't it? It was going down to Martinique. Um, did I actually send it? Yeah, apparently I did. Where on earth? That's the Bright Star. Seriously, where the hell did that ship go? Um, you're on that route. Seriously, what about what have I done? What have I done? The Dondervolk's going around. That's fine. Stormer, this guy's seaweed. Morning. Well, seriously, what the hell did I do with the uh, <laughs> with the thunder? Oh man, I didn't send it down to Port of Spain or something. Oh, it's not important, hidden under no. I definitely sent a ship down to Martinique with goods on board. And I'm sure it was the Thunder. Um, where are you? That's the Formidable. Okay, well, let's deal with the Formidable first. So, Havana. Once I get this on this line, so would we keep uh, all of these others we get rid of? Yeah, that goes rope stays. Me, metal, coal. Get rid of you, you. Dump all of that. And that. And that. We keep the metal goods. And we get rid of all the luxuries. Cha ching, cha ching, cha ching. Okay, cool. So now you can be taken off the domestic route and put onto the domestic building route. Okay, assign route. So I must admit, I would kind of like to take one of those off and maybe put it onto another convoy. I have two convoys of two ships rather than, rather than three. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, what next? What next? What next? Where the hell is that ship that I was sending down here? The Thunder. I'm sure it was the Thunder that I was sending down here. Now, hang on. Uh, convoy. Where? There's the Thunder. It was the... It was the thunder that I was sending down there, wasn't it? But it's at Cueto Cabezas. And it's on the Spanish Circle. Like, what the hell? So, I don't, maybe it wasn't the thunder. I don't know. Maybe, um... I haven't got any free convoys, so it's obviously on its route and not doing what I asked it to do. So, I guess we'll just pick another one. Well, I don't want to use the blueberry, so we'll use the... I don't know, maybe the stormer or... Maybe the seaweed. Uh, the seaweed. Let's have a look. Uh, you're a big ship. I don't really want to use you. I want to use something like you. So you're in port. Okay. Let's um, let's just dump 
all of this stuff. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Get rid of everything. And you, and you, and you. Right, so, rum. We need uh, 70 rum, don't we? Yes, we do. And then it was 85 meat. I think it was 85 meat. Uh, and we've only got 47. Oh, man. Double check it was 85. God, my memory's bad, isn't it? I'm sure it was 85. 85. So, need some meat from somewhere. You know what? Go to Port Royal. I'm sure we've got... That's probably what happened last time, you know. Uh, which were we, we were using a stormer, weren't we? Yeah. Go to Port Royal. And once you get to Port Royal, it shouldn't take very long. All right. We will do what? We will uh, buy some meat. So I've got 47. Oh, seriously? You've got 184 meat. Oh, we're full? What the hell are we full of? Oh, we've got some of this. Oh, you know what? That's actually kind of good. Get rid of the cocoa and the metal goods and the coffee and the cloth. We haven't got any of that. Okay, good. So, so, we, so we did have enough meat. I could have just bought it there. It was just me being a bonehead again. What do I want? I want 85, don't I? There we go. Right, the Stormer. Get on down to Martinique. Go. Alrighty, well, the cash is coming in kind of nicely. We've got enough now that we can put a large shipyard into Santiago. We've reached the 6,000 level. That's awesome. So, construction menu and large shipyard, which costs 140,000. That goes in there. Hooray. How long's that going to take? 15 days. We had all the stuff to build it. 15 days to completion. Awesome freaking source now i'm gonna have a little bit of a look around and see if there's any exit like what well, stars any stars around the place yeah 55 cotton have we got any ships around no closest one's the donder don't suppose you've got 55 cotton on board have you let's have a look <laughs> you've got 54 oh man um all right donder oh hang on yeah we've got two more ships over here you know what uh, are there any more that we're just hidden under flags? No, I don't think so. Uh, maybe somebody else has got some more. Uh, some, you've got 32. You've got 30. Blooming brilliant. All right, Donda. Get over to Sizel. Oh, I should accept the task, shouldn't I, before it goes away. Uh, we'll accept that task. And uh, the Donda's going to go. The Sizel go... Once you get there, cha -ching, we will buy, hopefully, yes, we will buy the one cotton that we need. <laughs> God, 54 of 55. Uh, and then the Donda is going to head straight for Corpus Christi. Away you go. Right, so that's that going on. Let's go back over here. Any more X's around the place? Oh, stars, I should say. Any more stars around the place? No. All right, cool. Keep going. There's the stormer. We have a trader's flute, uh, flout. Trader's flout. Uh, in Port Royal. So, what are we going to do with this? Still got those, that couple of Corvettes sitting around, not doing anything. Um, I should, you know, I should probably use them, but what the hell. Trader's flute. What are we going to do with you? We're going to put you... I, I mean, I'm kind of tempted to put it on the domestic building route. I just don't know how... Um, I mean, we've got three ships on there already, haven't we? The Endeavour. No, this is going to be the... Um... Oh, actually. Um, you know what? I wonder if I could spell this. Aurora uh, Borealis. Somebody asked me to put the Aurora Borealis in. There you go. Boom. Done. Uh, what route are we going to put you on? Is the question. So, the Aurora Borealis is going to go on to... Let's see, we've got six on domestic. Oh, we've got 11 on the Spanish circle, which I'm starting to think is too many. Uh, but we'll see. We've got five on the French-Spanish golf ring. That would probably be a good place to be. Five on the domestic local. We haven't got any on the Spanish normal lane. 
but I'm not kind of too worried about that. You know what? We've only got one on the English route. Mind you, I'm good. the one I've sent down there, I'm going to put on the English route. Yeah, I'm going to put you on the English route, I think. Yeah, you're on the English route. Okay, so that leaves me with the Stormer, which is going to Martinique. The Donda we're going to Corpus Christi. And apparently I didn't assign this. Did I create another blooming route again? God, God. Uh, the Aurora Boris Borealis is supposed to be on the English route. Oh, no, what the hell? Okay, what ship did I put on there? The Bright Star, the, the Soleil Royal, I think it was. Was it the Soleil Royal that I put on there? Yeah, the Soleil Royal was on the... Um, <laughs> the Soleil Royal was on the Spanish Circle, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Looks like blast guy. I can't remember now. Uh, oh, you're down here. Oh, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Let's have a look. Uh, you're in port here. The Soleil Royal. Where were you supposed to be going? I've no idea. Was this the one that I set up with the rum? No, it's not. Okay, well, we'll put it back onto our route. Uh, let's see, you got 250. You know what? Well, just I think we'll just put you back on the domestic route. We've only got five chips on there. So, yeah, you're going back on the domestic. And then that leaves me with three free compass. The Stormer, the Donda, and the Aurora Borealis, which should be on the English route. Um, see, I just naturally go to the bottom. I've done what I've done. Go to the bottom. That's where a sign route should be. Create new route should be at the bloomin' top. I don't get that. Surely that's... Isn't that, like, obvious and intuitive? Okay, whatever. Right, so we'll let it run. Now, I've, I'm, I need to start spending some cash around the place. Uh, but I kind of want to get these tasks out of the way. Um, right, Santiago. How long till this is built? 13 days till that's built. We'll get another order going, I think, over here then. Uh, well, let's see. Yeah, we've only got one. So we'll get... Traders flute flute traders flout being done cool let's see where these two ships are so you're there you're there i think you're going to arrive first aren't you the cash is rolling in nicely which is good okay so we arrive at corpus christi what are we supposed to deliver 55 cotton 55 cotton delivered cha-ching and we get combat sales nice okay and then you donda can go back on your route. All right, and you're going to go back to where you were, which is a little bit annoying, but hey. What uh, What next? Okay, we next want to go with the Stormer. Oh, my God, the cash is pouring in. We're up to half a million. Good grief. By the way, there's, um, there's no way that I could complete the Turks Island task because... We need to get to 2,600. It's this, this task. We need to get to 2,600. Shut up. And... Um, Unfortunately, we, we've got over 2,000. The problem is we need to build a small church so that we can get over 2,000. And it's going to take... It wasn't commissioned until January the 23rd, and it takes like 14 days to build. So it's not going to get done before the deadline of February the 8th. Well, that is what it is. You know, it's a shame, but it is what it is. We've got any more stars around the place? And the answer is no. I do wish the stars would kind of pop up on the map or something, on the mini map or something. Because it's kind of silly having to go around like this. Uh, let's have a look at you, Cartagena. What do you want? You want 115 rum? I don't suppose there's anybody around here with like tons and tons of rum, is there? Let's have a look. Uh, you've got 49. Uh, let's see if there's any actual rum producers around the place. Okay, so you're producing... You're producing rum. And that's apparently the only place that's producing rum. Oh, there's a couple around here. So let's have a look at you two. How much have you got? Uh, rum. Uh, you've only got 30 in stock. And blue fields. Rum, 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 rum. You've got none. God, seriously? <laughs> Let's see if any of my any if any of my ships like just got a ton of run on board. You haven't got any. Thunder. Uh, you don't appear to have any. What about you guys down here? So the the the, the Bospers. You got seventeen. 
Padrag has got 15. The Iolus hasn't got any. So if I added those together, that's like kind of 30 and 49. Uh, that gets us up to about 80. And what do we need? Uh, 115. Pfft, yeah. What about what about the dawn? Yeah, you haven't got any rum on board. You got any rum here? 22. Man, that's going to be, I think, a bit, just a bit too much of a pain to try and get the rum together. Yeah, there's none, none there. What about Puerto Cabello? Is there any other place that's close? No. What about Kimana? Yeah, it's possible. 59. Yeah, no, it's too much hassle. I've got to do too much work. I'm not going to do it. Right, go. Go, go, go. Now, the journal's got a star there. Because uh, we've got an extra tactic. So we've got two combat sails, one ready to board, and one repair. Oh, something just arrived in port. Huh. What just arrived in port? I've only got one free convoy. That little ding. -ding. Maybe it was. Uh... No, you. You're not in port. I don't know why I got that noise. Okay, whatever. See, like that should be for that arriving, which that that one was. The one before. I don't know. Right. So, what do we want? We want uh, seventy rum delivered here. Let's do it. Seventy rum. Boom, and we get another repair, which is really nice. And then we want to head on down to Port of Spain. Now, just out of interest, what have they got to trade here? Have you got anything good? Let's go down the bottom. And the answer is, no, nah, not really. Nothing's in abundance. So, no, not going to worry about it. Stormer, get yourself down to Port of Spain. Go. All right, cool. Oh, now, the Bright Star has just arrived. Now, are you you on the you just on the route? Yeah, you're just on the route. That's fine. Okay, so you arrive at Port of Spain. Oh, the Stormer, come here, right? And eighty-five meat. Ching, and we get ready to board. Ready to board is nice. So we've got two repairs, two ready to boards, and two combat sails. Blooming excellent. All right, cool. Things going fairly well. Now, I've got 800,000 to spend. Just kind of... Hello, somebody's messaging me. Hmm. Oh, somebody's desperate to get in touch with me. Oh, very desperate to get in touch with me, apparently. <laughs> I think... I think I'm... Oh, and again, I think I know who might... What? Seriously? Stop it. What are all these ships doing here? God, Port Royal's busy. Uh, an old man is watching vessels which come into port. I'm looking for my daughter. Yeah, all right, we'll do this. Because some of these are... Some of these are awesome. Accept. Find Erda de Groot in this... See, it says... Oh, well, mind you, this one actually is in this area. In the region around Port Royal. Okay, so we need a ship. Um, you will do, I think. Yeah, 12 knots. So let's um, let's just have a sail around, I guess. Uh, I'm going to slow things down a little bit. So you have a look around. Oh, no, apparently I am going to speed it up. The area around Port Royal. Come on, go. Well, it's got to be around here somewhere. My, I tell you what, in 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 practice games that I've played, I, sometimes I can't find people, and it says, "Oh, they're in this area," and I can I just can't find. So they're not any. Oh, there! Ha! <laughs> right, boom, go. Hooray and accept. Woo! -hoo. Get back to Port Royal. Go. Oh, this is going to be a nice one. I wonder what we're going to get as a reward. Some of the rewards are awesome. Task completed. Oh, we got a piece of a treasure map. 
All right, cool. Pause. And let's have a look at our treasure map now. Oh, we've got the central piece of the treasure map. You have found the central piece of the treasure map and you can begin to search for the coastal position. As soon as you've tracked down the position, which is marked with a small flag, you're able to go ashore with a convoy to find the treasure. If you've found all parts of the treasure map, the coastal position will be automatically worked, um, marked on the world map. Now, quite a few of you, when I was looking at this, it, it, the last time I was looking at the treasure map, this bit of the map was like right here. And you were like, are you looking at the place where it is? You still need to find the central piece though before you can go looking for it. So we're going to take um, the... Hello, looked. Tell you what, go into Port Royal and... I'm, I'm just going to ditch all the cargo for now. Yeah, yeah, just get rid of all of this stuff. Right, so you're not carrying anything. Good. So, Heather looked. What, what were you on? You were on the domestic local. Okay. So, the place that we need to go to get this is... Um, I think it's... I think it's this. Is it this? Let's have a look. Uh, journal, treasure map. Yes. It is. If I move just a fraction over here, you can see, I think, that that is that. So that's the place. <laughs> um, in that case, am I going to use the Hellux or do I use one that's closer? Mind you, to be honest, I haven't really got many ships over there. Now we'll take the Hellux. So we want you to come over to here, please. Go. 2.6 days. I have got so much cash to spend. I need to start spending it. How long till we get the shipyard? Oh, we have got the shipyard built. Woohoo! So now we can start ordering ships here. Now, this makes things interesting. There is a ship that we can build here that we can't build in Port Royal. You can only build it in your hometown. So we can build all the regular ones. We can build the Traders, Flout, and we can build the Queen Anne. Costs half a million to build. It has a, a tactic called the Kraken. Release the Kraken. The current vessel allures a Kraken, which damages damages a neighbouring vessel and makes it sit out for a round. Bloom an awesome attack. Um, but this thing takes two command points. Oh, but I tell you what, it's 13 knots, this puppy. 48 guns, crew of 220. And, best of all... It doesn't require any fame points. Uh, if we go for a Carrick, right? Which see, this is what's a kind of a little tiny bit messed up. The um, the Carrick now, okay, it's 14 knots. It's a little bit faster. It's got a tiny bit more capacity, right? It's also two command points, but it requires two fame points, and it's actually got less cannons than the Queen Anne, which is crazy. Okay, it does have a really nice tactic which is the 180 degree turn. But when you're talking about spending two fame points, I, I don't get it. So I think we want a Queen Anne as kind of our flagship. Um, but am I going to build one right now? I don't think I am. I want to get the trading like massive. So I'm going to order another trade display. In fact, I'm going to order two because I want one building and one queued up. I'm going to go to Port Royal, and I want the same thing. So, yes, we've got one building and one queued up. Awesome source. Let's have a look in here. I've got uh, those couple of Corvettes. I mean, at this point, I'm kind of tempted to just sell them. Because, like, like, really, am I going to do anything with them? No. So, yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of them. Let's go to the lighthouse. Uh, no, not the lighthouse. Go into here and sell. Yeah, sell the two Corvettes. I mean, it's 120,000 a piece that I've just got sitting there not doing anything, so. Uh, am I going to do it? They're not terrific ships. Yes, sell. Sell and sell. Cool. Awesome. Sauce. Right. Next, 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 next. Uh, good point. What's next? So I've got two free convoys. You have arrived at the port of Spain uh, and we sold that stuff. So you. I'm going to put you onto the English route, I think. You were on domestic local. Yeah, let's put you onto the English route. So get rid of that. And you're going to go onto the English. 
sign. Hooray, good news. What else do I want to do? We've got um, the header looked, which is going to look for the treasure, isn't it? And I've got a million to spend. Okay, what do I want to get set up? Well, I've got a, first of all, I've got a fame point to spend. What am I going to spend that on? Uh, I haven't got a new task yet. I'm going to send, spend this fame point on carpentry. Because I want to start get These four products up here, this is where the real money is. So I think we're going to get some carpentry going. Okay, cool. So where are we going to do some carpentry? Well, it uh, would be nice to do it in Santiago, but they don't produce wood. And they don't... I think carpentry uses... Um, Wood. I think it also might also use metalware, but I don't know. Um, I could actually like look over here and check. Idiot. Um, carpenter. Yeah, it doesn't say. Okay, whatever. But I'm pretty sure that the reason I can't put it in is because Santiago has all. S oh no, it does. It doesn't have all seven products. Yeah, but it would kind of be silly to build it there. It's it's a good idea to build it somewhere where we're producing wood. So where are we producing wood? We are producing wood in Trinidad, in Nueva Villapina, Crooked Island, and that is it. So, so Crooked Island, Trinidad, Nueva Villapina. Okay, so what I want to see is uh, I've got a building permission there. Trinidad, I would need one. Uh, you know what? I'm going to buy it because I want to get wood being produced here. So I'm going to buy that. It's a chunk of change, but I think it's worth doing. And then Crooked Island. Let's see. Wood. Yeah, I say, so I'm already producing wood there. Okay, Crooked Island. Let's do this one first. So I want... Ah, now, now this is a good point. To, to put in any of the expensive goods, those four expensive goods... Uh, which are, let's see, um, the, the pottery, bakery, luxury workshop, and carpentry. In order to put to build any of those businesses, you need to have built the architect. And the architect is this, now that's the shipwright. Which one's the architect? Oh, this is the architect. You need to have built that building. Now, on Crooked Island, yeah, is that, there's the architect. It's already been built. So here, we should and I do say should, be able to... Be yes, we can build a carpenter. Hooray. Now, we have got... These are our businesses over here. There are a couple of other businesses down here. Place the business on a coastal coded field. Um, okay, so we can get a bonus for being close to residential and for being close to wood. So I could put them over here. Which I've got to say, it's kind of sort of tempting. Uh, oh, that's that's a wood. So it's only it's only in that square there. In that case, now nah, you know what I'm going to put them. I, the town's going to probably expand anyway, so I'm going to put them up there. And it's like, yes, it does get a bonus, but uh, some I, I, some of the bonuses aren't really that big anyway. So I'm going to do that. The thing is. We take two wood and a metalware to make furniture. So we're going to need metalware coming in here. And we're going to be using up wood. right? So I'm going to put more wood production in to compensate for that. So I'm going to put in like another one, two. Now I'm leaving the center square because I want to put a tool maker in there, which will give them a bonus. But the tool maker's got a range of two. So I could put another one there and there, say. And when I put the tool maker in, they'll get the bonus, which would be lovely. Right, what do we need? We need loads of bricks and metalware. Metalware is something I'm going to have to start expanding. Right, so that's um, that's Crooked Island. Trinidad was the other one. Now the question is, does Trinidad have the architect? And it does have the architect. Hooray. So we can do something here as well. I've got, still got cash, so that's good. Businesses. So, now I've got no businesses here whatsoever. So, um, let's start off with these guys. 
Now, I could put these kind of here and get the town bonuses. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a couple of furniture makers in. Boom, boom. And then... That, that's a rope yard unit. Uh, and then I'm going to put sawmills in. Now, sawmills receive a bonus by tool makers. So, if I put like a couple there and there, save that to put a tool maker in, and then have maybe... So if I put a tool, break, a tool maker there, it's going to have a range of one, two, one, two. So I could put... I could put wood there, 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 and there, which is what I'm going to do. All right. So we, again, we need a ton of bricks and metalware and some uh, some wood as well, apparently. Right. So the third one was Nueva Filipina. Now let's have a look what's going on in Nueva Filipina. Uh, first of all, do I have any? I had some production here, didn't I? Wood. No, I don't have any production here. Do they have an architect? Yeah, and I'm guessing no they don't which I can see if I go here no we don't have an architect so in that case I'm just gonna put in some wood production you know where am I gonna put my wood production in um, okay so th these are the residential areas now ideally what I would want is to have maybe my if I could put my carpenters in let's say there and there so I'm gonna start putting the wood in um, maybe we'll start I mean, you know what within two range would be like there and there so yeah one two let's do four three four god I've, okay, I've just spent all my cash and I've actually spent a little bit too much but you know what it is what it is right where were we we were on the Hedelucht going to get the treasure I hope the treasure brings me in some cash oh god the cash is flying in now, can you get a bit closer and see? Aha! There it is. At this location, there is no secret stash. However, perhaps the cross on the treasure map marks a position from which a crew could start, should start an expedition into the interior. Oh, we need, oh my God. We need 50 sailors, 10 rum and 10 pastries of all things. Good grief. So that means, first of all, I've got to go and get 50 sailors. Now, let's have a look at Barakoa. Barakoa, you got 50 sailors hanging around? Nope. Um, I don't know, what about, what about Turks Island? Just out of interest, Turks Island. Any sailors hanging around? No, none, okay. So it looks like we're headed back to Port Royal. Go back to Port Royal. So what do we need? 10 and 10. Uh, is that the head of Yes. Okay, so 50 sailors. And 50 sailors. Come on. Boom. 50 sailors. 10 pastries. Yes, we can do that. And 10 rum. Oh, and we can do that as well. My God. Something's actually going to work. Right, now, head of looked. Get back over here. Hooray! And there was much rejoicing. Now, while that's headed up there, I'll just have a little quick look around. Is there anything interesting going on? Maracaibo's got a task. Our large shipyard has been underutilized lately. Lately, Oh, if you decide, decide to build a vessel now, you'll get a 50% discount on the price. The offer applies to all types of vessels. Oh, okay. Let's see what type of vessel. So it's scan a sloop, brig, bark, flute, corvette, frigate. Oh, that's all. So we could get 70,000 off a frigate, for example. Well, if we wanted to make the most of it, we'd do it on a frigate, wouldn't we? So go on. Go on, I think we'll do it. I think we'll do it. Having an extra frigate lying around is not necessarily a bad idea. So what do I want? Um, first of all, I want to zoom out enough so that I can accept it. Accept it. And then we go into the shipyard and order 
a frigate for only 70,000. Hooray! Order it. Good news. Hurrah. Uh, right, the head looks on its way. I just want to have a quick look around for any stars around the place. Like, maybe there's some treasure or castaways or like anything. Oh, Evangelista needs 45 pottery. Oh man, um, where can we get pottery from? You know what, let's, we're almost there. Let's do this and then I'll worry about that. So, accept. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, the expedition. So what happens? The expedition just goes on its way. Do we need the ship hanging around? Uh, I suppose we do need the ship hanging around. It's marked with a star, so. Uh, in that case, 50... Oh, good Lord. <laughs> what was it? Where was it? It was Evangelista, wasn't it? Yes, Evangelista. Needs 45 pottery. Well, I'm going to have to try and find that. But I'm going to find it in the next episode. Yes, we're going to leave it there. Yes, treasure map. Treasure map cliffhanger. Can we get to actually find the treasure for once? Well, I guess we'll have to find out. Do we have another task at the moment? No, we haven't got another task at the moment. Uh, we do have a captain hanging around. Uh, oh, he's got a maximum level of eight. Nah, I don't like him. Reject. All right, guys, that's it. If you want to see more, if you want to see the treasure, you'll have to come back for the next episode. Guys, thank you for watching. I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.